Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer, bring you another visit with Fibber McGee and Molly. Again, we invite you to listen to the transcribed adventures of Fibber McGee and Molly. The show is written by Phil Leslie and Ralph Goodman and directed by Max Hutto. We'll see what's going on in Wistful Vista shortly. This is Eleanor Engel. Mother, are you missing out on much of the fun in life? Fun is good for you. You know, it helps you forget about today's problems and prepare for tomorrow's. But, uh, Eleanor, people don't always feel up to having fun. And frequently, it's a headache or an upset stomach that keeps them from enjoying fun. Yes, and that's when Alka-Seltzer can be a real friend to help you feel good so you can enjoy your fun. Alka-Seltzer tablets dropped into water fizz and become a relief-giving liquid that's better because of action in the glass. That's right. Action in the glass changes Alka-Seltzer tablets into a liquid. This is the form your system can use most easily and naturally for relief. Yes, Alka-Seltzer is easy for your system to absorb immediately. Try it. All drugstores sell it. Alka-Seltzer, the medicine that's so refreshing. McGee, breakfast is ready. Okay, Tootsie. Ah, this sure is a beautiful morning. This kind of a day that makes everybody feel good. Wonderful. Grocery boy, anybody home? What was that? That couldn't be the old... Hi, kid. Brung your order. It is, though. My goodness, he looks miserable. What's the trouble, Mr. Oldtimer? Yeah, what's the matter, boy? You look like a Republican that just got a nice new book for his birthday. Truman's Memoirs. Oh, it's awful, Johnny. (laughs) Yes, it was, but himself tells jokes like that all the time. No, no, I mean, what's happened? I just heard about it this morning. What? Tell us about it. Well, I ran to Ed Harper this morning. Ed Harper, yeah. Yeah, it turns out his barber is the same one that trims Councilman Crudley's mustache. So? Well, it seems during the usual conversation between mustache or and mustache the news leaked out. Kids... The city's going to build another big freeway. What's wrong with that? Sure, that sounds wonderful. They'll be able to reroute some of the big crowded buses and send those diesel trucks over it. That's what I mean, kids. That's what's killing me. I just saw a map of the route they're going to take, and that freeway's going right through my living room. What? Oh, my gosh. Through my kitchen, bedroom, and backyard, too, as a matter of fact. City council's going to vote on it this afternoon, and kids... I'll be dispossessed. Oh, dear. Oh, that's... Gee, well, what the heck do they want to run it through your place for? Let them build their dad ratted freeway someplace else. That's what I say, Johnny, but who's going to listen to me? I'm just a grocery boy. Just a lowly working man. Them councilmen won't listen to me and Well, my... by George, they're going to listen to me. They're not going to throw you out of the only place you've got to live in without a struggle. Well, I feel better already, kids. Sure good to have friends. I'll talk to Doc Gamble. I'll get Pecky Martin at the City Hall cigar stand on the phone. If necessary, I'll call Ike himself about this. Ike? Yeah, Ike Tillman. He does the grease jobs on the mayor's car, and he's got a lot of contacts around the City Hall. Hey, put that bacon down, old-timer. That's mine. Aww. Fix him something to eat, Molly. Yeah. Poor guy's so upset he probably forgot his breakfast. Don't you worry, old-timer. I'll get right to work on this thing, and we'll see if we... <laughs> I'm glad you stopped by, Doc. I've been phoning your office. Gee, so they're going to route the freeway right through the old-timer's house. That's tough. Does he own that property, do you know? No, he just rents, Doctor. But he's lived there about 900 years, and he's all broken up like peanut brittle. I told him not to worry about it. I'd take care of it. And by George, somehow, I'm going to. Well, as usual, your neck is out like a Thanksgiving turkey. Those freeway deals are big things, McGee. So is the old-timer having some place to live a big thing. I know, I know. But how do you expect to do anything? Look, Doc, the city council is supposed to vote on it this afternoon. And the only way I can see to handle this is to go down there and convince them guys they ought to put the freeway someplace else. Oh, they won't even listen to you, McGee. Do you know anybody on that council? He knows one of them, Doctor. What's the man's name, dearie? Crudley. Alderman Crudley. Him. How well do you know him? Well, I had two fistfights with him at the last election. Oh, well, that ought to be a cinch. 
An old buddy like that will do anything for you. Sure. You'll get thrown right out in the street, stupid. Yes. Well, that's one reason I want you to go along, Fatso. If them guys throw me out, I want you and Molly to throw me right back in. Look, Doc, the very least I can do for the old-timer is try, isn't it? Well, yeah. Okay, I'll go along with you and see if I can do anything. Good. I know a couple of the aldermen slightly. I'll explain the situation and see if they can do anything for us. Frankly, I haven't much hope, but uh, I'll... Ah, explaining won't do any good with them guys. The only way to deal with politicians is to scare them, Doc. You know how easy those guys scare in an election year. I don't see how... How are you going to scare them? Make faces at them? Threats, boy. Insinuations. Innuendos. Rumors. I know plenty of rumors about some of those guys that they wouldn't want the voters to hear. Oh, oh now, Mickey. Oh, and anything gee, else I need to scare them with, I'll make it up on the way down there. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> In just a moment, we'll try to straighten out the McGee's. You mothers know how essential good nutrition is for a child to develop good teeth, strong bones, and a healthy body. But you may not know that you cannot always depend on meals alone to supply enough vitamins for good nutrition. That holds true for children and adults, and a shortage of vitamins is one of the common causes of loss of pep and energy. So why not do as so many mothers do? Safeguard the vitamin health of your family by fortifying your meals with one-a-day brand multiple vitamin tablets. They supply all the vitamins anyone normally needs to take. Low-cost one-a-day brand multiple vitamins are easy to take, too, and they include vitamin B12. Next time you're in the drugstore, pick up a package of one-a-day brand multiple vitamin tablets in the blue box with the big red one. Doggone it, I don't see why we have to wait in this hall any longer, Molly Doc's not going to get anywhere in there with those council guys Let's just wait till he comes out and see Ah, it's just a waste of At time At least he'll discuss it calmly and logically with them Not wave his arms and holler like you do Logically, ha! Huh? There's no logic in it, Molly What do you mean? Let's face it no city council in the world would reroute a whole big freeway just for one guy, the old-timer. There's no logical reason why they should. So that's why you got to wave your arms and holler and scream. Uh-oh, here, here, here's Doc. Well, you were right, McGee. They wouldn't do a thing about it. See? They were a little sarcastic about it, in fact. Yeah. Especially your Mr. Crudley, that right. big ape. That... Come on, back in there. Follow me, both of you. Now, McGee, please don't get in a fight. Let's Come on. just... All right, gentlemen. Now that we've disposed of Dr. What's-His-Name Silly suggestion to reroute the freeway, let's get on... Just a darn minute, Crudley. I beg your pardon. You should beg my pardon, Crud. And all the other voters like me's pardon. After that last batch of election promises you didn't keep. Hey, who is this guy? Hey, what is him I know who this bum. He? He's a troublemaker. And all the rest of you esteemed council members. He's the last time if I were you guys, I'd listen carefully to the voice of the voters. Oh, me. Oh, you would, would you? Yes, I would. Especially if I was you, Councilman Jones. Now, McGee, let's not get into any. How would you like the police commissioner to hear about those slot machines in the back room at your brother's club? What? That's a lie. There are no slot machines in my brother's place. You'd better be careful. Of course not. Just roulette wheels. Shut up. Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Pete. Hey, maybe McGee's got out of something here. And don't worry about the commissioner, Pete. He knows all about it. He does? Sure. Mother told him all about it when she went to visit Aunt Harriet. Say, how is Aunt Harriet anyhow? Fine. Had another attack of gout, but otherwise... Now, just, just a minute. Yeah, yeah. what are you now, talking now about? Now, you just a minute. Now, look, Uncle Pete, I don't see why you and Cousin Crud even listen to these people. The newspapers haven't been able to pin anything on us, so how can these people come in here? Well, it looks like we're wasting our time. Yeah, it sounds like one big happy family. Family is right. Even the construction firm that builds these freeways is related to some of these guys, and I hear that they... Now, wait a minute, McGee. Have you got the map there? The freeway route? Yeah, right here, but I don't see... Isn't that the section of town where the... Let me see that. I think that's where the... Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, may I have a word, please? Thank you. What are you going to do, Molly? What is it, Mrs. McGee? We're busy men here, and we this, don't have... Uh, to... This freeway, I suppose it will be built as usual by the Acme Construction Company. Well, naturally. Grandfather's firm, uh, I mean the Acme firm, has done excellent work for the city for many years. Mm-hmm, that's what I figured. Now, if you family men will just take a good look at this map of the route Grandfather's going... or the Acme is going to build. Look, you see that? See? See what? 
I don't see... If you go through the area we've been talking about, the section our friend lives in... You'll have to cross this entire swamp area to get there, you see? Hey, swamp? Swamp area? Where? Where? I never noticed I had a feeling you boys might have overlooked it. And here, how about this? What is it? Move over, Charlie. This hill area here, the one that's known to the kids in that section as Crumble Mountain, because it's slowly crumbling away. Gee whiz, I never realized What? That. It's going to be a little expensive to fill that swamp and prop up Crumble Mountain. And it'll have to be propped up good, unless you want a landslide some Sunday afternoon... When a lot of voters are out for a drive on the new freeway. Oh, yeah, let me see that. Hey, that's right. That? I remember that place. Yeah. I haven't been over there in years. That swamp. How could we have overlooked that? I don't know, but quick, get your grandpa on the phone. Let's throw out this route here. Yeah, sure. But get him over here so we can be sure next time. Building swamp, building retaining wall. Why, we could have lost our church. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we won, Doc. We won. Molly, you're a genius. Ah, uh, you're just saying that. Oh, that's Fibber <laughs> and Molly have a final word for you to come. I love to see the spring come, don't you? The only trouble is the spring season too often means changeable weather with raw, cold winds. Spring is also the season for catching colds. So make sure you dress for this uncertain weather and make doubly sure you have enough Alka-Seltzer on hand. Yes, because when you catch cold, Alka-Seltzer helps you feel better while you're getting better. Alka-Seltzer relieves the feverish, ache-all-over feeling of a cold. And for a raspy, irritated throat... Alka-Seltzer makes a wonderfully soothing gargle. Believe me, once you try it, you'll agree. There's nothing quite like Alka-Seltzer. So check your supply right now. And when your tablets are down to four, that's the time to get some more. Some more Alka-Seltzer. Quick relief for cold discomforts. the evening paper, McGee, and they've got a full-page map of the new freeway route. Just decided on it this afternoon, the paper says. Good, good. I'm sure glad we got the old-timer out of that jam. Let's see how they have it laid out here. Hmm, comes across downtown here, turns west there, and... Oh, my gosh! No! What? Oh, McGee, no! Why, it's right smack across our yard. Oh! Holy smoke, them dirty rats. Get on the phone quick. Call Dr. Gamble again. Mr. Wimble, call everybody. Yeah, big protest meeting here tomorrow, folks. Everybody be here tomorrow. So long, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bring your friends. Bye. Fibber, McGee, and Molly transcribed is brought to you Mondays through Fridays at this time by Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. The Old Timer and Dr. Gamble are played by Bill Thompson and Arthur Q. Bryan. Jack Mather was Crudley, Herb Butterfield, Jones, and Billy Idelson, Pringle. Well, who will win, McGee or the city? This is John Wald advising you to tune in tomorrow and see. Friends, this is Girl Scout Week. Over two million Girl Scouts across the country are celebrating the birthday of Girl Scouting founded 44 years ago. It's been 44 years filled with fun and adventure for millions of American girls. 44 years of good preparation for healthy, happy adult life. That's quite a record, and we know that the years ahead will find more and more youngsters benefiting from the Girl Scout program. So from all of us, congratulations and happy birthday. Weekdays follow the story of Pepper Young's family on most NBC radio stations.